Hi guys, so today's project is we're going to make a Christmas wreath. Um, I have my, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, a wreath, a round wire. This is what we're going to use as our base. Um, but I have another one here that I wanted to show you. Um, this is what I'm going to use, but they make this one, um, which is kind of neat where when you make your bundles, you can actually put it in between these little prongs and then you just bend them in and it closes it. Um, I tend to like this one a little bit better because I like to make lots of small bundles, but if you're making big bundles, this would actually work pretty good. But we're not gonna use that one. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have a whole bunch, and I went and forged all this. This is what's left over from when we were doing the uh, front pots. Um, if you remember, I bought a big tree that I wanted to cut the top off, and then I was going to use all the boughs for um, for my wreath. So I went and I cut a whole bunch of small ones off that. So I have the uh, the balsam, I guess you would call that. Um, I have some pine, I have some cedar, and I also have some magnolia leaves. So this is what I'm going to use to put my um, whole wreath together. I do have these fake picks. Um, for little red berries that I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put in there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I think I'm gonna use these. Um, I've tried to use real berries in the past and I've actually bought them before too, um, but they ended up just drying up and just falling off my wreath. So they didn't last very long and they were kind of expensive. So I'm just gonna use these. So to start with, um, if you remember right, when we do these, um, I'm gonna use my paddle wire. It's like a floral wire. This one is a, I'm not sure which gauge it is, but it's just a regular just wire. And I'm just going to start with putting it on my form here as my starting point. I'm just gonna twist it on there. And that's gonna be where we're gonna start this with. Um, and as you remember, when we do this, we're not going to cut this. We're just going to continuously wrap our small bundles around, around the wreath. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this um, and I'm just going to make little bundles of it. And I like the magnolias, but I like the back sign. I think it gives a good color. It looks kind of like leather. So I'm just going to make little bundles like that and I'm just going to go and I'm just going to wrap it around uh, my wreath. And we're just going to wrap it, pull it snug, I just do it probably two or three times around it. I need a bigger work table, this is not uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use our bundles and we're going to put one one way, one one, and we're just going to keep going all the way around it. Um, if your bundles are a little too big, uh, you can always trim off a little bit at the end, just like that, just to keep it from sticking out. And don't make your bundles too big. You just want little bundles all the way around. If you make them too big, you're going to lose your hole in the center and it's just going to end up being this big obnoxious thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and get the camera. I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can watch me do this.
once you get towards the end, it gets a little bit difficult. You just gotta kind of weave that in there. But you can always fill in if you need to. Okay, so there's our wreath. You can kind of see it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over and then where my wire was, I'm just gonna cut off a piece of it. And I'm just gonna weave it into the back. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. So there's our wreath. And for the berries, these you can just stick in here. And they should hold. If they don't hold, you can always uh, hot glue them. That will work too. Okay, so there's our wreath right there. Um, I think I'm gonna put some ribbon on it and some uh, some little bells, but other than that, I think it's done. Um, once I get that on there and I'll put it on the door and then I'll come and get it to you and show you what that all looks like. Okay guys, there it is. There's my wreath. It's kind of hard to see right now because of the darkness, but I wanted to show you the front and I wanted to show you those planters again because I love this planter. It came out so good. Anyway, so there's the wreath. I'm gonna get up a little bit closer so that you can all see it. Um, so that's what we did. I put some little bells on it, um, a little bit of red ribbon to kind of tie it all in. I think it came out super cute. I love it. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. Hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.